Alrighty guys, this is Snugs on Blitz, and I'm back with another video for you today. We've been counting down my top 10 quote-unquote sneaky tricks. Why do I say sneaky in quotations? Well, because they're not that sneaky. If you're a pretty good player or a pro, you know these things, but it's worth going over them because some people seem to have either forgotten them or never got the message. I don't know which it is. Anyway, today we're up to number six, and we're going to be looking at two different angles. So you'll see what I mean as we go through the gameplay. And uh, let's not waste any time and just get right to it. Okay, they have a very good lineup. They have a Defender Mark 1, Hull Down Beast, Progetto 46, Great Tank, T28 Defender, T28 Protector. They've got a Chrysler, a T28 HDC, and a Tiger 1. Very strong lineup, to be honest with you. We do not. We have a Stura Mill, which can get absolutely wrecked if it's in the wrong position. We have a ground tank, that's good news. Most people don't know how to deal with it yet. We have a T34-2, I believe, or three. Can't remember which one it is. Um, it's an okay tank. It's not the easiest tank to play though, especially on a map like this that has big inclines. Anyway, I'm gonna head over here and it's not gonna start well for us. Look at that, our ground tank's taken two massive hits. Uh, that's not good. Um, we need our hit points. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can track that guy. Nope. And look at this, the stir mill has been absolutely wrecked. So, not good news, but wait, you're gonna laugh here. He's gonna make up for it because uh, I damaged his ammo rack here and get ready for it. Here we go. Come on, stir mill. Stir mill. <laughs> yes. So, there goes a frick ton of hit points from their hit point pool. So now, if we can get rid of another tank, we should be golden. And it looks like Mr. Progetto46 is going to oblige. We haven't talked about the topic of this video just yet, but it is coming, I assure you. Right now, the three of us, the ground tank, my buddy, and myself, are dealing with these tanks from the same angle. Now, it can work by taking turns, popping out, but I'm struggling to pen this guy, even with Pramel. So you know what? I'm going to go around and deal with him from a different angle. Why is this important? Well, you've only got one turret, and turrets take time to turn left and right. So, now I'm gonna pop up here. I wasn't able to pen him, but now he's got shots coming from the rear, from the side, from the front. That's three angles, he's got one turret, and he's gone. Okay, and this guy, you can see the G-Sword moving around him. Good, why would you sit in front when you just go around? Why not, especially if you wanna reload? Was able to hit the turret, but the second shot didn't go too well. Okay, now what have we got here? Mr. Tiger's not interested in me, which is great. I'm gonna get side shots. I'm gonna do my best to track him in place if I can, just to help my team out, get some cheap, easy shots. But he's getting shot from the side, he's getting shot from the front. And yeah, it's not gonna end well for him, that's for sure. Where's their Chrysler care? I have no clue. He's somewhere behind us, but he's gone. And now, here's the Chrysler K. He's gonna get shot from me here, boom. Again, he's got one turret. Now watch this. Here comes the T34-2, and he does a great job here, watch this. He shoots and he just keeps on going. This is a great move, why? Because now he's created two different angles. He's shooting from that side, I'm shooting from this side. He can only shoot one of us at a time, and the time to turn his turret will be impacted. This guy comes in as well, so now we've got three different angles. Boom, 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 he is gone. And there you go. Two different angles. It's not that hard. I don't wanna share another replay of this concept, but a lot of players seem to focus on the same angle. I think that's a big mistake. Move in like a wolf pack, one on one side, one on the other side, left and right, really cause trouble. If you're both shooting frontally, if the armor's strong, such as a shark or a CC-64, it's not gonna end well if they're hull down. So you've got to create those angles. Those angles are critical. And that's why it's my number six sneaky trick. Come back tomorrow for number five. Hope you're enjoying the series. I don't know if you are. Let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you tomorrow. Snugs on Blitz, out.